I was at the Crown Tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, Edmund won this last time. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a feast. And I came in with a number of other bards. I wrote that. Nice for floor. his majesty. Or his, his then highness. What? First coronation. And I said, uh, I didn't know Edmund at the time. So, as is my wand, I did Inchingham research, which means I, I talk to people. And I was trying to find out information. Uh, and a lot of people knew him because uh, Edmund had lived in the Midlands for several years, started out here uh, before moving away. And, uh, in fact, uh, several people had been college roommates with him. So I heard lots of stories. <laughs> and the most uh, memorable of which was said to me by a man who will remain nameless. Oh, there are not many knights who wear pink. <laughs> and he said, he said, well, he's not as pompous as he used to be. <laughs> and I didn't put that into the song. Not because I was afraid. And I hope everyone here, as I said, at the seesaw, I hope everyone here understands there's very little that Inchingham doesn't dare to say. <laughs> I didn't put it in the song because I didn't know. <laughs> but I wrote this song. I think I think it went pretty well. I Edmund won a second time, and then he won a third time. And it happened to be Kingdom Rapier Marshal at the time. So I had a chance to work with him, and uh, I think Edmund is one of those people that has grown in, in his role as king, and. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. I'll begin with, but <laughs> he's grown into the position, in, into the role. And I must say, Eric, in all honesty, it was a pleasure to uh, to serve him. So then I raised my glass, and I said, now I ask you all to join me in a toast to Prince Edmund, who is not as pompous as he used to be. <laughs> think that that deserves a, a near fetish. <laughs> <laughs> of course, since the king said so. Well, of course. <laughs> well, the the answer answer is a near insult. I it said it. <laughs> I did. In front of you know how much that face. helped? And I didn't actually call him Pompey. To be honest. Well, trouble is the, uh, that. That the Dragon yeah. Herald announced the banishment, then the king waved it off. But it was quietly to me. Yeah, I missed that. And the people in the front saw the wave off, but but Rory never said the word. Just kidding. But, but he did fling the piece of paper. Yeah. And he didn't say the word. You have made a grave error. <laughs> 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 <laughs>